What's happening in Apple Watch Pandas? Peter Brown Panda here. I've got my Apple Watch and I've got this Apple Watch stand. This is by Spigen. Spigen. Uh, and it's like this aluminum, anodized aluminum uh, stand. It's pretty nice. It works pretty well. But one thing that I found out recently, because my watch wasn't charged, is that I have, and I'll show you here, I have the standard Nike band still in there. But when you put it on, sometimes, especially because the band angle here, what we call the angle of like the... Um, the lugs, uh, you know, hangs the watch band straight down, it kind of prevents the watch from sitting appropriately. So I can kind of get it in there, now it's, now it's kind of nested in the spot where it needs to be. But sometimes if you throw it on there, it doesn't quite nest right, it doesn't quite connect. And I've noticed that a couple times where it won't start charging. And uh, you gotta pull these out a little bit, and as you can see here, it doesn't really wanna come out. And so the problem is there's too much material around the Apple Watch cord right there, which is just the standard Apple Watch cord. It'd be nice if it would just hold it, you know, and actually what I was thinking ideally might be as if there were no top and bottom. It was just kind of like a clamp that held the, the, the pad in here so that the watch band didn't have to clear any of the charger. So I'm just gonna pop this out here, just like that, because I bought another Apple Watch stand and I'm hoping that it does not suffer from the same problem. And in fact, it seemed to be a slightly different design and that's why I got it. I just kind of make, make it reliably, oh, I don't know, charge. And what you might be able to see here is that it looks like a cup. Now. It's got some a tray for holding your phone to. I actually have no idea what this brand name on here is, but it kind of looks like a pencil holder, like a plastic coffee mug. It's off-white, it's all plastic. It's got this gray top, kind of a tray in there. And then inside what we have is a micro USB cable and we have the little stand that holds on up the, the pad and I'll show you why all this works. Oh, it's interesting. Um, I showed you another charger in the past that I use a lot, and this is piece that holds up the Apple Watch charger is actually hard plastic. Looks like we have a little cap in here that would cover something, <laughs> I'm not sure. But what we'll do here is take the Apple Watch charger, and I'm gonna sneak it through this hole, so that's what we're gonna have to do. And then I get the charger up here. Now this is going to face out inside this little silicone holder. And as you can see, it doesn't add much around there at all. So if I just take my watch right now, I can tell you that it's not gonna interfere with the band at all. It's not even touching it. So that's, that's awesome. So I've got that going for it. And we have a little indentation here in the silicone. So what's gonna happen now is I'm going to press this into this little slot here and those little indentations should, should catch and kind of hold it in place. So you can see it's pop standing up right there. Now I'm gonna take the Apple Watch charger, plug it into the USB port there on the bottom, and then just kind of coil this down in there, just like that. As you know, the Apple cable with, for the Apple Watch is pretty long. Um, definitely kind of overkill, but I guess better longer than not. And you really do have to tuck it down here because this top piece does not really um, like tighten in. So I might have to... <laughs> Play with that a little bit but that's the key, key you know and then you can just throw your watch on this little tray just like that and you don't have to worry about it whether it's connected or not now i will tell you look look right off the bat is because the silicone is not super tight around here you know when i put it on there just the magnetism of the watch is kind of pulling the pad out of the silicone not a huge deal uh, by any means but you know it'd be nicer if maybe the the silicone were a little tighter. I could probably put in something here to kind of take up the, the slack a little bit, but eh, I don't know. They could have molded it a little tighter, to be honest. I paid for it, so I don't owe them like a glowing review. And then you can take the micro USB cable and plug it in here. And now you have two other USB ports, so you can plug in an iPhone or an iPad into those other ones. Uh, what's interesting right here is that this is a little tray. I'm actually, okay, you press it and it comes out. And now you can put your phone here you know, if you so choose, uh, you don't have to, you can close that up. But if you want to put your phone here in landscape mode, you can do that as well. So this is the, uh, this is the Apple Watch uh, charger that I'm going to start using now just to kind of ensure that my watch is reliably charged each evening because I know I can throw it on and throw it, take it off um, after I kind of 
finish up the assembly here. So if you want to pick this up, I also got it because it was cheap, under 20 bucks. So that was pretty nice. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want one. Peter Von Banda, out.